All right, it's just a quick video on my uh, M1 Garand. There's a couple of videos on YouTube, but none of them are. They're all sort of trying to sell the gun rather than. There is a French one, but it's in French. So there's no subtitles in English, so it's worth a watch. But you have no idea what the fuck they're saying. So uh, got this from uh, Zero One Airsoft here in the UK. Uh, I got some bits and bobs in. It's a nice, nice glossy magazine style instruction booklet. Very detailed, very good. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, GNG calendar of guns catalogue. Uh, you also get <coughs> you also get twenty round magazine. Uh, something to note, it holds 20 rounds, but it does not shoot 20 rounds. It will only shoot 15 to 16. Some people have got 17, but you will end up with 3 or 4 that will fall out. So, your already small 20 round magazine is now actually a 16 round magazine. I've only ever shot 15, I don't know if I've got a... If things have got to wear in a little bit, but I always lose 5 BBs when I, when I reload. Um... So that's something to note over the ICS one. Uh, and also, if you don't get the magazine perfect, it does not go in. It is very finicky. It's not a quick... If you're being shot out and you're behind a tree or, or a barrier, you're trying to do a quick reload to get back out there, it ain't going to happen with this. You, you have to physically look where you're putting it in. You've got to get it at the right angle. If it's at the wrong angle... This bit doesn't engage properly, it doesn't feed the BBs, then it falls out because you haven't put it in properly. It's difficult. Uh, slowly getting the hang of it, but it is something that you'll have to get used to. It's not a simple push in and click. You've got to sort of put it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's, that's pretty much it. Bar the missing the gun, that's, that's what you get in the package. This is oh, this is a reproduction M1 Garand carry case. Uh, does what it says on the tin, really. It's, you know, it's got a it's got a strap on the back, adjustable. It's sort of you know it's sort of that World War Two era feel smell. Uh, if you know what that smells like. <laughs> yeah. It's quite nice. Bits of leather on it. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, that's the beautiful finish on the gun. Really nice finish. A lot better than some of the ICS ones I've seen. It's a real dark, real dark sort of movie looking sort of feel to it. It's quite good. Um, it does It does look good. It is heavy. About four and a half kilos. Um, this is how easy the magazine pops out. It, you just touch it and it falls out. I don't know if that's just mine, but I'm worried about knocking that in a game. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, sling not included. Again, oh, this is a reproduction, authentic reproduction, so to speak. If you uh, the M1 Garan clip with some deactivated rounds. I've got to tidy that up a little bit. I've literally only just done it. Um, yeah, just on there for sort of shits and giggles, really. Um, as impractical as it is. Uh, battery space. Talk to you about battery space. Uh, well, there's a hop-up, if you want a hop-up. I'm assuming you've watched other videos, so I'm just skimming over bits and bobs. Uh, one thing to note, this part here, as you can hear, still wobbles. I've I'm in the process of evening that out, but it was horrific. It was really horrific when I got it. I've put some masking tape on the inside to try and pad it out a little bit. Um, I'm going to have to see about something else because there's quite a lot of layers on there, but it's still wobbling. Um, I've heard it's common, so watch out for that. You're going to have to shim that or something. Um, very nice, very nice actions. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, it's generally generally a not very nice gun. Uh, I was on the website. It said it was shooting three twenty five feet per second. However, on a point two, I have not managed to get it above three hundred. So I don't know. It's consistent, as you'll see in a minute when we chrono it. But I don't know if that's just me or if maybe they've been sold the uh, the Japanese the Japanese ones for maybe for the Japanese market because they've got to be sub three hundred some of their guns. So it might be that I've just unfortunately got one of them. But uh, yeah, it's not bad otherwise. Um, battery space quite limited. Uh, it is literally that hole there. Uh, I'm a Dean's guy, so I've got Dean's wired up there. Um, it was supposed to take one of these, um, albeit in the manual it's a stick battery. This is not a stick battery. This is, you know, but I mean it gets sort of there, and then that's it. It does not go any further than that. Um, if I, you know, pulling this out, pulling that in, it just doesn't. It just stops there. That is, that is, that is it. So one of them, probably not. However, this is a seven point four fifteen hundred lipo. Straight in. Straight in. In fact, it's disappeared. So no problem with a. That's what I use for my honey badger. Yes. Yeah, I'll call it honey badger. Fuck it. Uh, again, 1300 7.4s. Stick type. Straight in. No problems. Uh, this one I use for my GK 5C. This is a 2600 7.4. It's quite thick, as you can see. It does go in. Bear with me. Bosh. Straight in. There's loads of room. Great. So, lipo wise, you're laughing. Uh, the other batteries, you may have to, you may have to convert, or maybe just get, maybe sticks will fit. I don't know. I, you have to uh, forgive me on that. Nice click. Quite solid. It's not rattly. Uh, let's do a quick, let's do a quick magazine attempt, shall we? See if we can get one in first time. One without BBs, preferably. So, nope. There we go. All right, so I've had a lot of practice. It does just fall out. It's weird. It's so hard to get in. I mean, look there. I mean, if if you try and put it in like that, you try and put it in like that, it it stops. Try and put it in square, it stops. You've really got to, there's a there's a point, and see that's that's not working either. You, I mean, that's what you that's what you sort of end up with things like that. You get get a gap. It's just gotta you gotta find it and push it. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's quite awkward. Trying to do it quickly, it just doesn't. It just it's yes. Yeah, it's, I'm hoping, hoping it gets easier the more I use it. But yeah, so, so that's the magazine. Tricky, tricky. Maybe I'm just retarded. Who knows? I probably am just retarded. But uh, adjustable. Elevation, windage, the usual sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to quickly take this apart just to show that it is fairly easy. Um, I got it. Watch the French. There's a if you scroll through the if you type in G and G M one grand and scroll through, there's a bunch of French guys that are doing it. Although it's all in French, if you watch carefully, you can pretty much get away with how they're taking it apart because um, I'm lazy like that I like to watch other people do it and then copy them uh, so you want to undo this bit first need a mammoth 
screwdriver of some sort. Come on, right, so that just pops out. And you want to push this bit here. Undo that. And I'll spin around, 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 around. Comes off. Now you can pretty much remove this bit. It should just fall off. Now you can take this bit off, it just slides off, and there's this bit here, this bit comes off, pull that all the way along, then the, uh, the bit that I packed out, a little bit fiddly to get off, as you can see there's all the masking tape, I've tried to pack it out with, it's not great masking tape, I'm going to admit, You'll, I probably will get slated for it, but Fuck it, it works for me, you can't see it. Well, it's yet to work for me, but you know what I mean. Um, that's pretty much down to there. And then what you're going to need to do... Now this is not your standard... I've owned a WE M14 before, and I just rip that down, and then away it comes. With this, you've got to push it back a bit, and then pull it down. Otherwise it will not come out. He says, and then can't do it. There we go. So that's the trigger part. And then this just falls away. And you just sort of pull it up in a sort of a diagonally motion. And that's that. That's what you're looking at, that's what's, that's what's in the back, that's, I don't know what that is, some sort of fuse probably, fuse or a moffset, can't remember, I think it's a fuse. Uh, yeah. Nothing special. Um, not going to take it apart anymore, it's working at the moment, I don't want <laughs> to break it, but uh, that's how to get to all of that, especially if you, if you wanted to change your connections to zines then uh, that's a good you know it's easy to easier to take it out you can strip the plastic off and all that sort of stuff better tidy that up actually that's a bit shit oh well I'll do that in a minute and then to put it back just a reverse first Then Mr. Trigger. Then the uh, wobbly. The wobbly wobbly. Just clicks on. A bit. I can't remember which way this goes. Hey, first time. And then a bit. Uh, the right way would be a better idea. Come on. There it is. And you want... That bit. And that bit. So remember to get this the right way. Tight. Like that. that should mean that all this is steady. Yes. And then screw that back on. Easy as that. Well, for that part anyway. Quickly 
load up one of these. I'm using, this is what I'm going to be shooting. Or shoot your load with accuracy. They're, they're alright, they're not awesome tournament grade stuff. I don't know, you know, it's whatever, they're just point twos for what I play. I think you can spend a lot of money on BBs. So eight, ten quid for five thousand, that'll do. They're actually pretty good. They're pretty accurate. They work really well in my um my amoeba thirteen or the honey badger as it will probably be known as. Um uh, that's that's been upgraded slightly so it does shoot a lot better, but it's, they're actually quite accurate to be fair. Let's get this, let's pop this in there, let's push down on this, bring this one ended. Oh that's that put that in a second. Let's get the battery hooked up. Is the battery charged? Yes, it is. Just move this. Over here. Can we see that? Can we see that? Oh, just about. Alright, we'll try that. That's not going to work, is it? I'm going to end up shooting the fucking phone. Uh, Jesus! Zombie Jesus! Uh, Alright, we'll try that. Don't usually feel well. In fact, I've never filmed anything, so I literally have my phone as a as a form of recording. Um, so apologies for that. I don't do this YouTube stuff. I actually work for a living. So what's that? Three fifteen. Well, that's not bad. That's a start. Hello. Yeah, see, that's better. Yeah, so, so it's a little bit over the place. I don't know why that is. It was consistent at three ninety five. Uh, Two ninety five. And we're empty. And well, when I say empty, oh, and um, three, three fell. Oh, there's one. There's one trapped in there. Right now. Cheeky little bastard in there. So that was four that fell out, so so I shot 16 out of a 20 round mag. Uh, so 
So yes, that's a little bit disappointing. Well, it's very disappointing. I was quite angry with that. I thought it was broken. But uh or forty mags or something. It's not but yeah, so averages three five three oh five, sorry. Uh Things like that. Uh, it's not. I mean, it's uh, it's weighty. It's at four four and a half kgs, so it's it's quite weighty. Um, yeah, I'll tidy that up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, the sling was just a little bit too thick. It, you might have seen in some films. This is threaded through here in a sort of a sideways motion. But this is just ridiculously thick, um, so a little bit of a shame. But a little bit of a tidy up. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but uh, you know, shit happens. Um, if you want, if you're thinking about it, I mean, it's it is a it is lovely wood. Uh, it is very it is a very very nice looking gun. I must admit. Uh, some trades on the back if you want trades on the back uh, yeah hop up's fairly easy to adjust it's right there this does not lock back in case you think it does it doesn't but yeah if you're, if you're looking for slings reproduction and anything like that check out these guys soldier of fortune they're pretty good uh, I, don't, I can't remember if I know it's only been 20 minutes, but I can't remember if I showed you. But they do a lot of a lot of the rear. They supply a lot of the reenactment guys, people like that, you know. So, so if you want to go full, uh, there you are, there's a jumpsuit, bits and bobs, fake grenades, and C4. Yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, they do. Yeah, I don't know who this. Denix replica guns are, but uh, they do a lot of them. I don't think they shoot anything. I think they're just real action, but they don't shoot. Oh, I don't know. You have to check them out. But uh, they're pretty good. Uh, also, zero one. They're 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 pretty good. Um, I use other people, but. For this rifle, and one of them, one of the few people that were stocking them at the time. So uh, that's just a, it's just an M700, and you probably can't see it very well. Uh, it's not very good. So yeah, so uh, let's go take this outside, see what we can shoot with it. <laughs> 